for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And first off, guys, I'm sorry for the lack of content lately. But as I've been saying in most of my videos, if you've been watching, it's hard to just make content on what I do as a YouTuber, where I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be very content-oriented, very about Madden news, and very about the best ways to take advantage of it and the market and everything. The, the, pretty much how to play the game and how to be on top of everything. And to do that, it requires a game that's active. And right now, with the way Madden is going, it, it's slowly dying down. Less content. There's been minimal content in the last few weeks. So, obviously, my channel comes and goes. Madden comes and goes. Hopefully, next year, as we grow and we go into a different time and chapter in our channel we can progress that to the point where i'm not so reluctant to be on top of just madden itself you know like i can change it up i can do other cool things but right now where we're at that is what the channel is built around that is what we're going to focus on so thank you guys for coming out to watch this video guys today i'm gonna be talking about the eventual series update that's happening i believe it's series seven how to prepare what i what i think you should expect and even what not to expect at this point with the way the madden's looking like they care about their game so if you guys are new Drop a sub, helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow before Madden 20. And if you guys are, you know, an OG and you're here right now, drop a like. Let's get this video to 25 likes. And uh, comment down below. A lot of you guys like to just chat and talk in the comments. Especially a few of you guys who sent me some really weird essays that I like. And you know who I'm talking to right now if you're watching this. You send me an essay every day and I do not know. I don't know if you actually click that. Or, like, do you type that? Or do you just, like randomly copy and paste something off the internet i don't know but you guys understand that was a pretty long intro guys let's get into the video for series seven first off what to expect it's, it's kind of weird because series updates used to be really cool but at this point in the madden i can't believe they'll be too cool first off we can expect a new player every series there's been a series master which i will show you guys in a sec there's been a new one every series so let's go to the most recent one which is series six there was a 97 overall Jordan Reed series master. Nothing too special, but it is free, which is not too bad. There's also been a journey player that has come along with the majority of these series, as you guys can see. Obviously, there wasn't one here because they didn't do one that time. But so as you saw in the last one, there was Jordan Reed and Jerome McCoy. So you can assume that you will probably be getting a 99 overall this time around. So there should be a 99 overall. So this series player could be useful for a lot of teams. 97 overall. And it will only take 47 trophies. Probably this time around, it'll be like 50. I actually think it's went down. No, it's, it's go, it is going up. Okay, has it been going up? Because if I remember correctly, these used to be like 50. Yeah, it went down for a little bit. It's kind of down from where it started. So for like probably 40 to 50 trophies, you can get a 99 overall, which is very easy to get. Just do your house rules twice for the day, and you literally have it. Not even do it once. You get 40 trophies, I'm pretty sure. It's very simple. Yeah, 40 trophies, I'm pretty sure. Or if it's even, it might be 20, but if it's a 20, just do it twice. It's very easy to get. I highly recommend it for this series. If you guys are still playing, you can, you can always use 99 overall. No matter who it is, he will have good stats. Chem him up, and he'll be a useful player. Could there be a new journey? People probably know already if there will be. I do not. But if there is one, that I imagine that player is useful too. That will also probably be a 99 overall. It could be a 98, but again, in this point of the year, with the way Madden was built... A 98 overall or a 97 overall is not an overall because you could just chem them up and power them up. So it doesn't really make it like you have to rely on a 99 overall card to be given to you because you can make it. Now, definitely keep some trophies for that. It could be a very useful player. As it's, it hasn't been the best players throughout, I mean, they're kind of good, I guess, for certain teams. But I did like the Telvin Smith earlier in the year, so that could be very, very useful. Now, there could there's going to be new solos. You guys know that. And... These new solos, could it be a journey? I'm not entirely sure, but there will be new solos. There always is. And also, if you have a team right now, I'm just letting you guys know the market's slowly still going down. And with the new with the new series, typically comes lower prices. Now, the excitement of the series might not be what it used to be, so I can't, I can't definitively say that's going to be the case. But at this point in the year, the market's going nothing but down. Also, we're at a point in the year where Madden is not valuing their coins or valuing the players anymore so if you could see they were stingier to give out coins early in the year through free stuff as you can see by the solo challenge it's it's solo battles it's literally double rewards they're just giving away coins house rules giving away coins and cards all they're doing 
is looking to drive players to come over and start playing their game again they don't really care about the market they don't care about the coins they're not regulating anything they just want to get you guys here they don't care anymore they've made their paycheck trust me because i was looking at these things and look how crazy this is so it is four red zone packs 10 touchdown packs four hail mary packs four midfield packs and 500k quick sell for rank one let's put this into perspective a touchdown pack quick sells for seventy five thousand coins you get 10 of those that is 750k the four red zone packs is 25k so that's 100k so that's 850k plus a 500k you're at about 1.35k 1.35 million coins 1.35 million coins off that that's unreal that's unreal right there if you win that you could literally sell that on a coin sponsor for like over a hundred dollars right now and eh, maybe less maybe 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 seventy dollars but you get the point that's still unreal obviously you're not gonna get uh, not every, you can't get rank one i mean only one person can get rank one but let's take it down to ultimate two touchdown packs 100k quick sell two red zone packs that is 150k plus 25 so that's 200k plus that that's 300 a little over 300k for ultimate that's not bad at all because that's guaranteed you can make 300k a week plus guaranteed i don't know if weekend league is double i'd imagine it's not because uh, they're probably driving people to solo battle because not a lot of people do it but you get the point they are just giving away coins right now. I highly recommend if you still play this game and you actually still care about it, hopping on that. There will be new objectives as there always is. There's currently the loyalty objectives. I would get those done because I'm pretty sure if you have a fair amount of those, you can use those to progress into next year, kind of like rookie premieres. So using the loyalty and the rookie premieres, you could build a decent squad out the gate next year, which could be very useful. Now, the biggest thing of the next series is the level up. I believe we will be able to get up to, if I had to guess... The max right now is not 80, right? I believe it's like 90. I'm going to go. I'd imagine that you can go up to between a 95 and 99. I'm sorry. I'm behind on that. I haven't leveled up in a while. But the point is, is that well, let's look over what the potential rewards could be. Right now, they're offering you a full ultimate legend player, a power pass of like a 97 overall, and just for 80. So at a point, at the point, we're going to be at like a 90 to 100 overall. And they don't care. They're tossing away coins, not tossing away free cards. They just want you to play the game. And get them the last bit of money they can get i'd imagine that they're gonna give you something pretty good for these level ups a free 99 maybe a free draft collectible there's gonna be a few cool things in there and by draft collectible i mean one of one random draft player there's gonna be some cool things it might even be a power pass for 99 overall so i think they're gonna they're gonna you know put down the house on this one they're gonna get some good rewards for this sadly it's at a point in the year when not many people play anymore but if you still care if you still care this could be awesome for a lot of you guys still building your team who started out late you guys can really capitalize. Obviously, you might not be at this level yet. It takes a long time, unless you're uh, one of those YouTubers that sit up all night doing that. I don't know if that could be me right now. When the new game comes out, you can like your ass can be assured that I will be spamming the shit out of this game, and I will be max level the second it comes out. That's gonna be me. Right now, I don't really care enough. I don't know what the leveling up's for for me at this point. But the, when the new game comes out, oh yeah, rookie premieres, some loyalty tokens. Some pack openings, some content. It's going to be a great time. But if you guys have started late and you can't get that levels, I understand. But the new series always leads to some new cards. That's how I see the new series. I saw it as, I'm going to get some good shit today. That's how I saw the new series, at least. I got my Telvin Smith on. I remember the first series, the second one that dropped. I got myself a Telvin Smith. I got myself some free packs. I got myself some new um, objectives. I had, I had a good week. Followed by some weekend league and some solos. It's a good time if you're just starting. It's And, and like I said, you could also get a free player out of the... Um, what's it called the series the um, if there's a journey or something that typically i think there might be the last considering the last journey was i believe it was this one right sightseeing was the Jerome mccoy that was a while ago that's been out for quite some time now we might be seeing another one i hope so that could be cool you can get 299 overalls plus some objectives plus some leveling up that'll be a really good time so that's, that's about it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this is pretty much just me summing up how i would prepare for this and what to expect if you're new to the game and you're not used to the series updates it's been a fun year guys if you're still around to the end thank you guys so much for being here i have definitely enjoyed it i wish i could have started this channel earlier i wish i could have been around in this community earlier but we're doing the best with what we got and i cannot wait to see you guys come next year this is not me quitting the channel this is just me keeping it real with you guys because i'm not gonna let's not exaggerate here we know we know what's going on but thank you guys so much if who are still here to this point in the video right now if you are drop a like Comment down below. Hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter is always down below in the, in the description. So you can always hit me up on there if you need to. That's what it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.